Without the shipyards, I would never have been a comedian. Going into the shipyards was a perfectly natural thing for me. It was like somebody from Aberdeen going on a fishing boat or somebody from Yorkshire going down a mine. All of my characters have been wee quiet guys. They're always in the audience watching stuff. They're always saying, I'd like to be a lion tamer. You know, the lions are scared of chairs, you know that? You always take a chair with you when you're going to tame a lion. A chair and a whip. They don't mind the whips, but they hate chairs. And they, they were the guys I liked. They were where all the comedy was coming from. But the, the wee guy watching it, the, the, he's the story. I love those guys. Were there other people as funny as you? Oh, the, most of them were funnier than me. I would watch television and see these comedians. And, and I would say he's very funny, but they never made me howl and fall about the same way as the ordinary guys did. And I thought, I'd love to be a comedian and do it the way the lads are doing it, the thing that makes me roar. Mm. And that's what I attempted. If they find not a weakness in you, but a difference in you, they'll go for it. The shipyard was great for that. They find a weakness, and like me, it was the banjo. When you go for your, for your tea, or here's the banjo player. When I'm cleaning windows, wrong, dong, 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 dong. And there was a guy. He was, he, he was from Troon. He was a really nice guy. And he was an amateur dancer. And we were building a, a tanker at the time for BP. And he had been spotted at the bottom of the tank practicing dancing. And, 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 and we were at the, we were at the, the, the tea place toasting our sandwiches. And somebody said, notice you're doing a couple of weird fancy steps at the bottom of the tank there. He said, aye, it was a wee reverse barrel. You know, barrel for twirl. And, 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 it was a wee reverse barrel. I was just trying to get the hang of it. From that second on, he was the reverse barreler. And he used to answer to it, hey, reverse. Aye, what is it? People are delighted to have a nickname. It makes you one of the boys. When I started drinking, there was, the pubs didn't allow women in. People have presumed because it's men, they talk about sex all the time. But in my experience, they rarely do. They talk about football and work. They like talking about their work to the most boring degree. I remember the stag bar in Govan. We used to go for a drink after the shipyard. And people would say, if anybody nods to you in the stag, don't nod back. It's just a welder putting his helmet down. <laughs> talking to people. I, I came upon it the weird costumes by mistake. I, I was playing folk clubs and they were mostly in lounge bars. And I thought, I'm going to dress so as if when I walk in, they'll know who it, who it is. So I got stars on my trousers. Then I went for the stripey. And then I just, I just lost control after that. I went all androgyny. It was a visible thing and it made him stand out so that he was attractive to both men and women without it being in a sexual way. John Byrne had just done some drawings for the Great Northern Welly Boot Show. And one of them was the Reggae Welly, and it was the bananas. He, he designed some extraordinary wellies, the Nurse Grant Surgical Welly. They were, they were fabulous. And they were beautifully painted and drawn wellies. And I went for the Reggae Welly, and that was the banana we had them made. There's a thing about changing into your costume that's good for your head. You're, you're, you're no longer the welder, you're a comedian now. You're wearing comedian clothes. It's very good for you.